Well, now that the warm weather is here, it's a perfect time to get your family out fishing. And of course, you're going to need some tips on how to keep them interested because it can be a challenge. Our resident fishing expert, Jason Maddity, is here. Thanks for coming in this morning. You're welcome. Happy to be here. How do we do it? How do we keep the kids interested? Well, you focus on perch. That's the first thing. <clears throat> kids aren't interested. Well, they want to catch something, right? right? Because as you were saying in the break, impatience is the name of the game That's the key. when it comes to kids where <laughs> when you fish you have to show at least small spurts of patience hopefully sometimes long spurts of patience so if you focus on perch there is schooling fish there's small fish you tend to get it, it, I call it almost a situation of quantity over quality in terms of size so you can get lots of bites sometimes they're only this big but hey it, uh, it's something to keep them going and keep them interesting we've got rods there how do we need those mm -hmm. what else do we need <clears throat> Well, the key when it comes to perch, because they're smaller fish, is you need lighter stuff. These are, this is a little five and a half foot rod, and it bends very easily with very little effort. When you get a strike, you can feel it quite easily. Um, and uh, the one thing I really wanted to talk about that I really kind of nailed down a pattern last uh, spring, actually, and I'm anxious to try it out in the weeks ahead, again this year, is using artificial lures. Normally you use like a, a bobber like I have here, a float with a jig, you put a leech or a worm on the bottom, that type of thing. But I was using these one 32nd to 1 64th ounce jigs, the tiny, tiny things that you've got on there. Here? Yeah, and I brought kind of a sample of them here as well. Uh, you know, those particular jigs, if you just reel them slow and just sort of twitch and I call it the twitch and pop, Daryl, just real, real slow. These little guys here. Sounds like a these, dance move on it, the front. Well, it is kind of a dance move for the fish, for sure. Perch just loved these rubber tails more than they liked real bait. But the key was you had to keep them moving. You had to just sort of hover them above the bottom ever so slightly. Why are they so effective? Um, I think they really mimic the size and the shape of, of uh, small minnows, okay. something that per perch would want to eat. And, and that's really critical, too, is trying to match what they're eating uh, you know, out in the natural environment to what you're presenting. If you do that, you can often really see your catch rates go up. What if I don't have a boat? The beauty of this technique, and at this time of year, is the fish are shallow. The fish are within uh, 20 yards of the shoreline. They're kind of working, uh, uh, that's where everything's warm in the spring. Uh, you know, obviously in these shots, when I took uh, these young fellas out, uh, the, th these were their first fish, actually. Oh, wow. Uh, <clears throat> we did have a boat, but we weren't very far offshore. And what it does allow you to do is instead of starting deeper and pulling in shallow from shore, you can start cast towards shore and bring it out deeper. So it's kind of a different way to get at the fish, but uh, you can still have great success from shore at this time of year. It's going to be some people out there that say, where are the good spots? Where should I take my kids to try out if they want to have some success? Well, you know, the, the Coppell Lakes uh, can be good at yeah. this time of year. Uh, and if you've got a cottage, off the dock is the best place to start because the dock actually provides a lot of cover. As a kid, I used to jig right off the end of the dock and perch would just hover un underneath the dock. And I have to just throw a shout out to Buffalo Pound Lake. That is the place you want to go if you want to catch perch. Uh, there are literally millions of them in there, and the fishing can be quite easy at times. I know you've taken our big kid, Phil Darling. Mm -hmm. there That's where I took times. Phil. Hey, uh, we need some more information. Some people are going to have some questions about how to get their kids, uh, keep their kids engaged. How do they get a hold of you? For sure. You can get uh, in touch with us at getfishing.ca. You can email us there uh, at any time, and you can also see our fishing tips, uh, and uh, we'll have our perch segment up in a couple of weeks. Perch on the way. Thank you so much, Jason. Appreciate Thank you. this. Jason Maddity from MaddityGetFishing.ca. Check out the website.